Any fish is a trophy on the table if you cook it properly. And cooking coho or brown trout over the coals is a terrific way of preparing them. So let's jump in and learn how. Let's say it's a sunny summer afternoon and you either caught a nice salmon or lake trout or brown trout in the Great Lakes or maybe a friend has given you some fillets. Now, you're, if you're going to barbecue this fish, you're going to need a tasty barbecue sauce. Now, this sauce here requires a quarter cup of oil or melted fat to which you add a sprinkling of sesame seeds. A half teaspoon of salt and a dash of pepper are added along with about two tablespoons of lemon juice. Of course, you don't have to squeeze a fresh lemon, but it does add to the flavor. Now that's all there is to the sauce. Oh, we almost forgot to start the grill. Somebody's got to start the grill. Art, hey Art, hey over here, could, could, would you mind going and starting the grill, please? Thanks. The coals should be slow and even burning. If you like a smoked flavor, try adding some little blocks of maple or oak or birch wood to the coals. Of course, some people don't like to go to all that trouble. But by the way, thanks, Art. The next step is to prepare the salmon fillets or lake trout, brown trout for the grill. They need to be washed off and dried gently. You don't have to use the fillets though. Steaks cut an inch or two thick will work fine. Remember, fish doesn't hold together like beef does when it's cooked, so you'll need a, a wire mesh basket or grill cage to put the fish in. And here Ellie is using two cake cooling racks wired together at the corners, and that does a fine job. It's a good idea to rub a little grease or cooking oil on the rack to keep the fish from sticking. Well, Art, hey, it's gonna be time to move into action again pretty quick here. When you put the salmon on the grill, make sure it's about eight inches above the coals. Baste it well and turn it over to cook for about eight minutes on the other side. After eight minutes, depending on the heat, turn it over, make sure it's basted well, and then tell the kids they have time for about one more jump. When the salmon is done, it'll flake when you test it with a fork. This is why you have to cook it in a wire rack or cage of some sort. It's just too tender and you never get it off the grill in one piece to make a pretty picture like this. Some corn on the cob and a salad, well, the suspense is building. All this makes a meal that is just outstanding and it tastes every bit as good as it looks. Mm -mm. And as Art and Ellie Korok illustrated so well, this recipe is simple to fix, but in case you didn't jot down the ingredients, write to us at Michigan Outdoors, Box 1, East Lansing, 48823. We'll give you information on this recipe or anything else you saw on the show you're interested in. Now to Ed for the weekend Outdoor Outlook.